Welcome to another edition of Coffee with the Goose, where we talk about things that are interesting, fascinating, and irritating. And we've got a shocker for you today. I am the Goose. Glad to have you aboard once again. Uh, no coffee. Already had my coffee. Already uh, had a good breakfast. Went to Mass this morning. All is good with the Lord. Uh, and before I start, I uh, just want to say in all seriousness, uh, thank God, you know, uh, for, again, my good health and my family. Everything is hunky-dory in my household, peachy keen, fine and dandy. <laughs> Hope the same is uh, true with you guys. And again, praise God for uh, all of his blessings. I'm uh, very, very thankful this morning. Anyhow, let's get down to business. What's up in the world of fighting, not just boxing, but uh, MMA, UFC? Wow, I, I can't say this is a shocker, uh, but for those who really don't follow the fighting biz, uh, this was a shocker. Uh, you know, we were led to believe that nobody can touch Conor McGregor, uh, even though he's lost a few times already. But uh, Dustin Poirier brought the hurt in on Dustin on uh, Conor McGregor, and it was a KO, and it was a savage beatdown, in my humble opinion. Uh, he uh, damaged his calf, uh, and you know, when the, when the legs go, the rest of your game goes, and that's true in many, many sports, in MMA and boxing in particular. And Dustin Poirier avenged his loss of a, a few years ago and put down Conor McGregor, and uh, hey, great uh, warriors, both of them, you know, all, all respect to those guys. But it brings uh, questions and it brings answers. The uh, question, of course, is what uh, does the future hold for the great uh, UFC champion, Conor McGregor? We don't know. Uh, he uh, left uh, the building on crutches and uh, left his uh, ego there somewhere, too. That was a, 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 a bad beating. And um, uh, that's the question. But really, the, uh, the thing we, we solved was... Uh, uh, the potential fight between Manny Pacquiao and Conor McGregor. That ain't going to happen. Uh, you know, I said it a year or two ago that, come on, now, if this is beneath Manny Pacquiao. He'll never uh, fight an exhibition bout with a UFC uh, star in, in boxing. Uh, he wouldn't do what, uh, you know, um, uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. did with McGregor, just, just in it for the money. Well, it was starting to look like it was going to happen, and uh, to Pacquiao's credit, he said he was uh, he wanted to know what it was like to fight a UFC star, and he was going to give most of the earnings to COVID relief. So hey, you know, I was on board at that point. You know, all I'm all in with you if you want to raise money to help those less fortunate, even if I don't like the uh, the the show they were going to put on. Well, that show ain't going to happen now, at least not in the near future. You just don't uh, <clears throat> limp out of the the stadium on crutches and and then turn around a month or two later and, uh, and duke it out with the great Manny Pacquiao. Not, sorry, not going to happen. So put that one in the, in the trash can. That's not, not going to happen. So what is going to happen? Well, the, the question remains, are, is Pacquiao going to fight one of, the, uh, one of the other two welterweight title holders? And those, of course, being the great uh, undefeated fighters, um, the Omaha, Nebraska uh, native, um, um, uh, uh, Terrence Crawford, and the uh, Dallas uh, native, uh, Errol Spence Jr. Still, we're not really sure what's going to happen. Now, I do want to kind of put a couple of things to rest, though. Um, you know, we've talked, uh, first of all, with, uh, uh, um, with uh, <clears throat> Crawford, the potential fight with him that we've said this many times, that's probably not going to happen. And you and I know know well why that won't happen. And it has nothing to do with the the skill and, and the championship ability of Terrence Crawford. That has nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with money. And whether uh, <clears throat> Terrence Crawford uh, has the name and the drawing power to, uh, you know, that befits a, a pay-per-view fight. And he doesn't. Uh, through no fault of his own. He's undefeated. He's a, he's a tough guy. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. Would he give Pacquiao a great fight? Yes, no doubt about it. But again, it's money. Sorry, guys. It's, uh, you know, it, is he going to draw the crowd? Is he going to draw the hundreds of, of thousands and millions of people willing to shell out money for a pay-per-view bout? No, it's not going to happen. 
Uh, I think he's only fought, and correct, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, I didn't check this out officially, but I think he's only had maybe one pay-per-view bout, maybe two in his entire career. So uh, a, a Pacquiao-Crawford fight, as much as we want to see, it ain't going to happen. That leaves Errol Spence Jr. And uh, why would that happen? Well, Errol Spence Jr. is another great undefeated in his prime welterweight. Uh, and of course we all would want to see that. And I think, uh, I'm of the opinion that that would merit pay-per-view numbers. I think that would be a great face-off, a great battle between Pacquiao and Errol Spence Jr. But, um, I'm not sure it's going to happen. You know, Pacquiao's kind of, he's already said that Errol Spence Jr. is just too slow He's slower than uh, Keith Croft, uh, Keith Thurman, his last opponent. And uh, I am, you know, and I think many others believe that Pacquiao would, would not have a problem with Errol Spence Jr. Even though Spence is great and he's a tough guy and he's got lots of skills, I think that uh, his lack of quickness and his uh, lack of, uh, you know, movement in the ring would spell doom uh, at the hands of Manny Pacquiao, because that, you know, Manny brings uh, all of that to the table. Uh, he's got uh, hand speed and uh, quickness on his feet. So I, you know, I really think he would handle um, Errol Spence Jr. Oh, I'd love to see it. Oh, uh, one more thing. Uh, I've seen a couple of my fellow YouTubers have uh, not just their opinion, but uh, they put it in their headlines. Oh, my God, it's going to be a WBA uh, title bout between Pacquiao and Conor McGregor. Come on, guys. It would not be a title bout. Uh, Pacquiao's uh, WBA title would not be up for grabs because it would not be an official fight. It would have been an exhibition in, uh, and that's it. Only for money, only for show. So you guys know better than that. Come on. Anyhow, that's not going to happen, as I said at the beginning of the show. McGregor is not going to fight Pacquiao unless there's some divine intervention and his uh, foot, his uh, leg miraculously heals. And besides that, if he is going to uh, get in the ring again this year, it's probably going to be against Dustin Poirier. You know, uh, McGregor is, uh, he's not just going to let that go. He, uh, you know, he's, he has too much fight in him, too much pride, Irish pride. And um, he's, uh, in, in my opinion, he's just going to fight Dustin Poirier, Poirier again and try and exact revenge on that KO that he suffered uh, last night. Uh, at the hands of Poria. So anyhow, where do we go now? I don't know. You know, uh, you know we've been waiting a year and a half with Pacquiao, and uh, uh, it's all because of the virus. It, it has nothing to do with Pacquiao ducking anybody. He's never ducked anybody in his life. Um, so, you know, I, you got me. I want to know what you guys have to, have to say. You know, we've uh, brought up dream matches over the last year in our hopes and our wishes that Pacquiao would bring us another great battle. Uh, you know, we've talked about a, a possible fight with Triple G. Uh, that's not going to happen, although I think Pacquiao would, would hold his own. He's done it many times against the, the greats and greater fighters much bigger than him, and even Canelo Alvarez. That would be dangerous, either one of those fights, but uh, yeah, I'd like to see it, and we know uh, Pacquiao, it's it's in him. He can he can uh, stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with either of these guys. Um uh, Maybe, I'm not going to say Pacquiao's too old to fight anybody, but, you know, as you get older, uh, those type of bouts uh, against people you shouldn't really fight, eh, probably not going to happen. So uh, I still think, especially now, uh, after uh, the McGregor fight, it's probably going to be Errol Spence Jr. Oh, one more thing. Put one more thing to rest, and I think 90% of you guys already knew this. This Ryan Garcia business. I can't, he's just dreaming. He's dreaming. He's a lightweight. Come on. Ryan Garcia is not going to get in the ring. Neither is Danny Garcia. Neither is Mikey Garcia. None of those guys uh, deserve to be in the same ring with Manny Pacquiao. So Ryan Garcia has been talking a lot. Uh, you know, it's a dream fight. Ryan, that's all it is. It's just a dream. You are not going to fight Manny Pacquiao. Nobody wants to see that. And uh, uh, you wouldn't last more than two rounds with him. Let's be honest. So anyhow, there we go. Uh, as I said, one big question has been answered. It won't be Pacquiao against McGregor. Connor is licking his wounds after that uh, horrible beatdown 
at the hands of Dustin Poirier, so it's not going to be McGregor. Uh, it still leaves the um, the two welterweight titleists, uh, Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford, and I have no idea who he's going to fight next. I, I give up. I want to know what you guys have to say. Uh, Pacquiao has said recently, though, he still plans to fight twice in 2021. Ty you know, after the uh, uh, McGregor loss and after things settled down here in the United States, not just with politics, but with the virus as well, uh, I think we'll get an announcement fairly soon, maybe in the next month or so, and we'll figure out who uh, Pacquiao is going to fight next. So anyhow, that's it. That's it for this edition of Coffee with a Goose. Thank you so much for watching. And many, many thanks to you guys who subscribe. Uh, my, I'm so indebted to all of you folks and uh, I'm very thankful you guys watch and uh, try to bring my best every time. And, uh, you know, we'll talk to you again soon. God bless.